Okay, guys, we are coming to you from day 13 of day 14 burn boot camp. 14 day free trial. Yeah. We're coming to you 24 hours after the fact of the Saturday's <laughs> plyometrics workout. We're gonna let Sean take the floor on how he feels the day afterwards. Piggybacking on what we were talking about yesterday, I was like, it was a really good workout. Kira's always coming home and says, yeah, today we really targeted this muscle. We targeted my uh, arms and shoulders and upper body. Oh, we targeted our lower body, especially our, you know, glutes and our um, uh, thighs and, and, and legs. Well, this was a full body workout. <laughs> so so as I, was, as I was doing this, I'm like, I've been working out pretty good, you know, on my own, just on my own. But what really holds you accountable for really pushing yourself is having the good trainer that's going to push you mm -hmm. and then also having the community around you to kind of hold you accountable it's like okay everybody else is in here busting their butt i need to do the same thing mm -hmm. and so you elevate your level in the and majority of the class is ladies and these ladies are freaking doing the same thing I'm like you guys are freaking insane you guys are worth just as much sweat just as much heart just as the same look in their eyes as they're giving it their all out and i'm like wow what a community this is and as soon as they're done they're popping tall giving it high fives all the way around yeah i was sore the same day but this is only one workout for me one one movement oh one movement oh 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 i'm well, so I, old i mean i was the hulk that see day. he had the hulk effect like i did yeah but now it's the next day and i've had a chance to kind of recover and i'm like Man, I feel really good. I'm ready yeah. to do another one. I'm excited to go on the next one, actually. Yeah, hopefully yeah, next really Saturday. Am. Yeah, next yeah. Saturday, because that one will be a free one for mm -hmm. for not only Sean but and myself, because I will be in that strange, awkward transition period where I can't be doing my 14 day free trial, and then the commit to fit hasn't started yet. Oh man. Okay, so if you're done with that, I would also like to stress the importance of rest days. And rest days are important for the long term. If you're on some sort of health journey, it's it needs to be a journey and not a sprint. And you're not trying to get as much fat loss as possible or as much muscle gain as possible in the quickest amount of time. Our bodies just flat out don't work like that. Yeah. And so it's important also mentally to take rest days. Like right now we're currently at the Omra track watching some MotoGP just kind of sitting here on our butts so of the muscle that you broke down while working out so hard at burn or any or any type of workout you need to allow it to build back up and so the way you do that is by not constantly tearing it down all the time but you let it rest even though I probably could go for a workout today I'm allowing myself the I'm giving myself grace to be like no you need you need the rest and you deserve the rest every week I'm probably gonna take two days two or three days depending on the week and of course not all in a row I'm gonna be taking one in the middle of the week and then I think Sundays are just a really good rest day overall just as you're getting geared up for the for the week ahead and don't feel bad about it because if you've been working your butt off it's well deserved otherwise you're gonna burn out and burnout is just gonna bring you right back to where you started and negate all of that hard work that you just did okay folks good morning it is day 14 of 14 of my 14 day free trial with burn boot camp. Wow, I can't believe I made it. Today is Monday. And so today's theme is partner, core, and arms. And I was thinking to myself, wait a second. On Friday, we did core, core, and more core. And Thursday was upper body drop set. I'm like, I am still recovering from those. And you're gonna go make me do a partner workout that's core and arms. I trust you burn boot camp. But I'm like, I feel like we just worked those out. What? Yeah, so it's my last free day. I'm really sad. I have to figure something out for at least two or three days this week and then definitely going to the Saturday's free boot camp to make sure that I don't get out of the swing of things. I don't want to regress. Today I start the My Fitness Pal app. I've already logged my pre-workout and my branch chain amino acids, scanning the barcode. That was super easy. I feel like though, long term, if it makes it so easy, you're going to tend to go for more processed foods. I'm going to try not to do that, but those are just my initial thoughts. I'm going to be trying to log my water to the best of my abilities as well. Kind of already set it up for like my weight and we'll kind of go over what I've decided to set my macros at. In the, in the evening conversation today. Yeah, we're just kind of tracking 
to track for tracking sake just to kind of see where the baseline is however i am trying to be more intentional with putting more protein into my diet so after workout i'm not only gonna have the branch chain amino acids post-workout but i'm also gonna be eating two hard-boiled eggs just to get in more protein because if you're gonna be trying to do some fat loss and you're trying to maintain your muscle mass, if not grow your muscle mass at the same time, they recommend between 0.8 and one grams of protein per pound of your body weight. So if I'm around 217 right now, I need to be between 190 grams and 217 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. We'll see how this goes. And I should be getting in because it looks like all the ladies are pulling up. So. We will talk about this more afterwards. Okay guys, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Whew. Good morning. It is, whew, what is this going on here? We're gonna fix that. Eh, we'll just puff up the other side. That makes things all the better. There we go. Looks great again. Ooh, that was good. I had a little teeny bit of Teeny, teeny, teeny bit of anxiety going into that, being like, oh my gosh, I hope everybody does partner up and I'm like the only one left. But I kind of, I kind of spotted somebody as I was going in. I was like, let's make sure I make direct eye contact with her right when our trainer says you need to pair off. And so I did. It was a good workout. It was definitely a good workout. It was, it was core and it was arms. And there's not much more to say about that. And there were four stations and we almost made it through all four stations. I was so proud of us. I didn't sweat as much as I normally do. But then again, I feel like I'm comparing it to Saturday's workout where just gushing water, just gushing water. I wish it was water. Gushing, nasty, smelly sweat out because it was a plyometric. So you were just jumping all over the place. Still like my Nike Metcons, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep them. I feel like they add added stability to my feet because my left ankle, I roll it about every year. I may have a little bit of a problem when it comes to Burn Bootcamp's merch because it's freaking cute. You guys are on point. And so I got another tank top because I had a problem. So it says train insane on it and it says it like multiple times in multiple rows and it is adorable. I need to look on Burns YouTube, kind of pick out which one I want to do if I do find a half decent one and I'll probably be doing them all by myself, all by myself in the gym by myself because I'm too cheap to spend $25 on one drop-in session. Instead, I will spend $26 on a t-shirt or on a tank top that I can wear multiple times. There you go. That's how I do things. Definitely going to Saturday's exercise and I'm dragging my husband along with me again because he seemed to really enjoy it. Literally last night he came up to me and was like flexing his arm. He's like, Kira, look, look at that muscle. That's a new muscle I never had. You went to burn once. Okay, I think that's all my thoughts. We've rambled enough. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for my evening where I'll have more thoughtful advice. Train insane. It is the end of day 14. It's our evening session and I wanted to start out by saying I'm surprised I'm not sore today. And I want to talk about what my settings are on the MyFitnessPal app, go into more detail why I've decided on these certain metrics and ranges that I'm aiming for as far as my macros goes, uh, how I decided on my caloric intake range. Okay, so one thing, if you're going to be using the MyFitnessPal app, if you're not planning on buying all processed foods or foods with barcodes, you're going to need a balance that looks kind of like this. I've had it for a while. I actually love using balances for when I baked, so way back in the day. Any kind of balance will do. Pretty sure I got this at Walmart for like $12, $15. Not the biggest expense, but it's gonna be super useful for tracking exactly what you're eating. I have decided that the next week, I'm just gonna be kind of playing around with the app on the free version of it. And then when I decide to go into my month of really honing in on my different macros, and I will start the free premium trial just so I can see if there's like a big difference. And if there's not a big difference, then I'll just downgrade back to the free version. And if I feel myself switch
swaying towards those orthorexia tendencies of just obsessing and focusing on making sure my numbers are perfect, then I will lay off the app altogether. And if I get to that point before the month, then I will let you know and I will just stop using the app. I just know my own limitations as far as that I do get very obsessive compulsive over those kinds of things. I know that I'm going to have to be increasing my protein intake and so I know that that was going to be probably my number one challenge going into this. I went on to a bunch of different websites and I really actually found a really good website that I highly recommend and I'll link below down in the description. This was just a really succinct website. You give your age, your height, your weight optional if you happen to know it, your body fat percent. And also one of the metrics that you have to fill out is your exercise. So if you are sedentary, if you're moderate, if you're like an ultra marathoner, it needs that in order to calculate how many um, calories you're going to be expending each day. So figure out your TDEE. TDEE stands for total daily energy expenditure. So my TDEE for that is 2000 569 calories um, with moderate exercise and so moderate exercise means that I am exercising three to five days a week and that is totally within the bounds of what, what I'm doing for um, burn and so from the TDEE the nice thing about the website that I gave you down in the description is that it gives you maintenance um, cutting and bulking and so basically cutting means is that you're trying to lose weight and bulking means you're trying to add weight so cutting normally means that you're decreasing the amount of calories you're eating by about 500 calories a day that there's seven days in a week so you do 500 times 7 is 3500 calories and that equals about a pound so basically we're aiming for about a pound of weight to be lost a week and so if we do the grand scheme of things there's 52 weeks in a year so in about a year hopefully I will be 52 pounds less than I am currently which I think is around around my goal weight so like I said and I would like to reiterate is that I am trying to lose weight in a very slow and steady manner I'm not trying to lose 30 pounds in 12 weeks those are short-term gains without any sort of long-term results. You're gonna screw up your entire metabolism in a big bad way. You're gonna, your hormones are gonna be all out of whack, especially for females, and your body's just gonna wanna snap right back to what it was used to. What you have to do is do things really small, really incrementally, and, and expect it to take a while if you want things to actually last. Let's get back to the point here. My TDEE is 2569. Decreasing that by 500 means that I'm going to end up at about 2069 calories a day. You know, that seems like a healthy amount. That seems totally doable. I'm not restricting myself to 1200 calories, which is insane, uh, which is something that I used to do, which, wow. And I'm kind of allowing myself a little bit of wiggle room there just because I want to make sure I'm not decreasing too much. So that's like my minimum calories is about 2100 calories. I have to meet that like every single day. Definitely giving myself a range of between 2100 and 2300 calories a day. Oh, another little note before we move on to macros is that within the app, you are allowed to calculate the amount of exercise you're doing. I don't know how much doing as far as exercise output and then it also allows you to sync up to like your, your apple watch or any sort of smart watch and then calculate out how much exercise you've done and then screw with your calories based on that i turned all those settings off because i i figured that with with going on to the tde e calculator.net is that that gave me a really good average number of what my energy expenditure is for the day and we can talk about i used to wear a Fitbit and so if you guys are interested I, I'll t I can do a separate video on the reasons why I don't wear a Fitbit yeah I think that, that that definitely warrants its own video but I'd like to know if you guys are interested in it because I will gladly make it getting on to macros the reason why we are here okay so macros consist of carbs protein and fat and so so my goal is to be 25% um, carbs 45% protein and 30% fat. 20% carbs is considered a low carb diet. Under 5% carbs is considered a keto diet and y'all are nuts. I'm on that like cusp of the lower carb range. So 45% um, I chose 
that number because it was within the gram range of protein that I'm shooting for. And so I'm mainly aiming for about 207 grams of protein. And the fat's just kind of 30 based, based on breakfast, lunch, snackage. I am currently at a ratio of carb to protein to fat of 37% carbs, 23% protein, and 40% fat. I'm really far off so far, and so uh, if I'm aiming to try to make my grams of protein today, I need to eat about 100 grams of protein during dinner. I don't think that's going to happen. I didn't feel like I was deprived at all today. Anyways, I think that's all I have for today. That was enough. That was a lot. Thanks for sticking around this far, if you did. And we will see you guys before the workout tomorrow, after the workout tomorrow, and probably maybe an evening session too. So we're just going to try to continue it as per usual. It's going to be challenging to do it, to do the workout by myself, and to also be held accountable for it. So this video is making it really accountable for me. I need to, I've made a promise to you guys, and I'm going to stick it out for tomorrow. And we're going to do the workout and it's gonna be great. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye. I was in pain, and I was He's letting making... everybody know that I was in pain, and exactly what locations I was in pain. For example, if I raised this arm, oh, the whole side was in pain. He was making frequent verbal observation as, as <laughs> to how much soreness he was experiencing. Just put your hands up in the air and that's the mod down. Do a push yes. up and get your hands in the air. I'm like, what's the mod down to the mod down? Uh, the, the wimpy knee push ups. And I'm like, you can't get it. Our relationship's awesome. <laughs> but like, who does fencing? I don't do fencing. I don't want to fence. I've never fenced. Let's fence. I have no desire. Oh, okay. As long as the blade is tipped. <laughs> in terms of grammage that's not a term in terms of wow this is a rough start today it happens man rough starts happen and i was so worried about how it was going to taste because some of these can get nasty and i've been holding it the wrong way up this whole time quest yay again it's a rough monday this is him milking it no! No! It has milk. In terms of muscle. Her. What is this hair doing? Why didn't anybody tell me about this? Oh! Man, ADHD. My body loves me right now. Little. Little.